It's been 23 years since the death of former Nigerian military ruler, General Sani Abacha, on June 8, 1998. The Kano-born general died while at the presidential villa in Abuja. He was buried on the same day according to Islamic tradition, without an official autopsy. In fact, this action has generated different theories about what really led to the death of General Sani Abacha. Some say he was murdered by a poisoned apple while in the company of sex workers, while another school of thought believes he was extrajudicially executed by poisoning, this time by his political rivals. So what really caused the death of General Sani Abacha on June 8, 1998? Sani Abacha, an active participant in Nigerian government coups in the 1980s and 1990s, ruled Nigeria as head of state from Wednesday, November 17, 1993 until Monday, June 8, 1998, when he died suddenly. After his death, rumors soon circulated that sex workers, especially from India, had given the head of state poisoned apple juice. The New York Times of July 11, 1998 advanced these rumors when it reported that intelligence analysts in the United States said there was evidence that General Sani Abacha had been poisoned while in the company of three prostitutes. The media house did not provide any nationality. On 15th July 1998, the Irish Times, citing the Nigerian government, reported that Abacha died of a heart attack on June 8th, but he went further to include the rumor that the late Nigerian dictator was poisoned with spiked apple juice while with prostitutes. He also did not mention any nationality. However, the Associate Press AP reported on June 8, 1998 that General Sani Abacha died of heart attack, leaving the leadership of Africa's most populous nation in limbo. He did not make mention any poisoning by sex workers. The news outlet went further to report that heavily armed soldiers sealed off Abacha's home and office in the capital, Abuja, after his death. Only the country's top army officers were allowed to enter the premises. Even Abacha's family did not state the cause of his death. It's only announced that in keeping with Muslim practice, a funeral would be held the next 24 hours. Within those hours, the government did not make any official announcement relating to the real cause of Abacha's death. As soon as news filtered into other parts of the country around evening, jubilant Nigerians, especially in Lagos, broke into chairs. Many saw an opportunity for a return of democracy even though the military was not prepared to yield power. The 1986 Nobel Prize winner in literature, Wale Inka, who was in exile in Jerusalem at the time, said that if Abacha's death was natural, then it was a very graceful exit. Shoinka also said that the death was an opportunity for Nigerian civil society, the Nigerian military and the international community to return to civil rule. Ghani Fawenini a human rights lawyer and head of Nigerian Joint Action Committee described Abacha as an evil man and repeated his organization's call for the military to allow Chief MKO Abiola, who was still alive at the time, head a government of national unity that would organize the drafting of a new constitution and organize new elections. Perhaps one of the most reliable pieces of information regarding Abacha's death will be that of his security chief, Major Hamza Al-Mustafa. In fact, Al-Mustafa has rejected claims that Abacha died after eating a sex worker's apple. The retired major was convinced that Abacha had been poisoned by Israeli agents in the company of Yasser Arafat. The former CSO said, contrary to insinuations that Abacha had been sick, the sudden collapse of the general's health system started on Sunday, June 7th, 1998, right from the Namdi Azikiwe International Airport, Abuja, immediately after one of the security operatives 
who accompanied President Yasser Arafat of the Palestinian National Authority shook hands with Abacha. According to Al Mustafa, shortly after the handshake, there was a change in the countenance of the late commander in chief. Abacha's aide de camp, Lieutenant Colonel Abdallah, was taxed to keep a close watch on the head of state. Around 6 pm on June 7, 1998, Abacha's doctor, Sadiq Suleiman Wali, came around and administered an injection to stabilize him. The head of state was then advised to take a short rest. Now, Abacha rarely slept at night. In fact, as of the morning of his death, he was still in his work clothes. At about 5 a.m. on Monday, June 8, 1998, Major Amza Al Mustafa was informed that the head of state was very unstable. By the time he got to Abacha, he, Abacha, was already gasping. Immediately, Al Mustafa put a call through to Dr. Wali who was driven to the villa via a secret route only Abacha used. Wally sensed something was wrong. At once, the doctor injected Abacha twice in the heart and close to his neck. Alas, there was no response. The head of state had turned very cold and was foaming in the mouth. Quickly, Dr. Wally took Abacha's blood, urine and hair samples in order to ascertain the cause of the general's death. The action by Wally gave faint proof that Abacha's death was not natural. Thus, the rumor that Abacha died in the company of sex workers after eating poisoned apples can be said to be unfounded because Wally corroborated Al Mustafa's testimony in an interview with the BBC that was released on July 7, 2015. Wally in the interview said Abacha's health was in good condition before his death. The doctor also dismissed the notion that the ex-military ruler ate poison apples served by sex workers as he said he met no woman as of the time he arrived at the villa. Wally had received a call from Al Mustafa to attend to the dying Abacha and when he arrived, he met another doctor trying to resuscitate the general. The doctor did all they could to resuscitate Abacha, but he was already foaming and it was at that moment they realized that the military ruler was dead. Wally was determined to find out the cause of Abacha's death and proposed an autopsy. However, the Abacha family declined, preferring a quick burial in line with Islamic rights. Thus, what really caused Abacha's death would remain a mystery. Since no official autopsy was done, we cannot conclude whether Abacha's death was from a heart attack or poison. General Sani Abacha was buried that same day in Kano, northwest Nigeria. The late Nigerian dictator was 54 years old at the time of his death. Abacha was born on Monday in 1943 and also died on Monday, nearly 55 years after. General Sani Abacha was married to Miriam Abacha and had seven sons and three daughters. As of 2018, he had 33 grandchildren. After Abacha's death, Lieutenant General Abdusalami Abubakar, Nigeria's Chief of Defense Staff, was sworn in as the country's 11th head of state. The swearing in ceremony was quite brief as General Abubakar took the oath of office and allegiance at around 1.43 am on June 9, 1998. That ceremony marked the end of the Abacha regime and another journey towards democracy. Interestingly, this story would give an additional twist as just 30 days later, Abiola also died under unclear circumstances as did Abacha foaming at the mouth. So guys, thank you very much for watching this interesting video and listening to this interesting story of Nigerian history. We'll be bringing you with more amazing and interesting intriguing nigerian africa at large history so that you guys can share your thoughts leave a comment share this video i will be seeing you next time